Previously on Kville. Who are you, cop? When the jail flooded and I escaped, and I promised myself, I said, you know what, if you get a second chance, that you're changing your life. Come on, Naya. What's so good about it, man? Lisa isn't here. Baby, it's not the same place, and it is never gonna be. It will be if we fight for it. All FAS units, possible 64J in the warehouse district, Riverside of Choptulis and Langston Meadowlands. Hey, this is FAS 6. We're heading south on Calliope. We're a minute south right now. Don't be an idiot. Let's have it now. Don't be an idiot, man. You want to die? You want to no, die? No, 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 come on, please. Oh, death, death, right there! Go, go, come on! Let's go, let's go! Oh, boy, come with God! Left that, come with me! Go around the other end, steal them all! The man shot! Metalworks send an ambulance now. Oh boy, I got him. The huh. red? I lost him. How? The guy that got him or you don't? Well, Lovetap, calm down, all right? Nobody did anything wrong, out there. How is he? They just took him upstairs, Cap. X-rays or something. What happened out there? What do we got here, exactly? A dead perp, a dead Vic, and an officer in ICU, that's what. All right, I'm going to go find a cup of coffee. The three of you come with and take me through it step by step. Who I? I recognized the perp. Recognized him from where? He was part of a gang I used to run with. His name is Carl Dixon. I saw a man and it was like getting hit in the face with a two by four. That's how you lost him. Yeah. Identified our Vic, Trent Roberts. The whole New Orleans money, family man. Worked as an administrator for Return Home Fund. Return Home? Guy helps people back into their homes, ends up with a bullet in his head. What are we looking at, a carjacking? Could be. You know, there was an abrasion around his wrist, broken watch link on the floor. Real expensive, high end. And the perp, we know who he is yet? Working on it. Doctors say Glue Boy stabilized. Can I talk to him yet? Yeah, he's still out. They had to induce a coma to relieve swelling on the brain. What are you doing, partner? Your shift's not over yet. Yeah, it's over for me. What are you talking about? I'm gonna find my old gang and I'm gonna take him down. And just how do you plan on doing that? I don't know yet. All I know is that whatever it takes, they're gonna be history. Take a deep breath, partner. Because if you go in there with guns blazing, you'll be history too. And I'm not just talking about off the force. Back in jail. Yeah, well, that's a chance I'm gonna have to take. I can't let what happened to Glue Boy happen again. And New Orleans is a small place. It's only a matter of time until I run back into my old gang again. I don't want a new partner, damn it. It took me this long to break you in, man. Come on, there's got to be another way. There's another way, all right. Good. I like it without him what it is. Okay. Maybe I need to hear what it is. I go undercover. I infiltrate my old gang. I set them up, and we take them out. And if they see through you? See through me? I got the most ironclad cover a person can have. I'm Trevor the Rat, convicted felon.
I think about this, the more concerns me. Who's to say they won't put a bullet in you right then and there? Never mind. You're supposed to be talking me into this. I hate to bring this up, but there's another problem. In order for you to infiltrate your old crew, you, know, you have to find your old crew. I'm gonna cover that right now. Son of a... Trevor Lorette. Let me buy you a drink, man. Not today, Scotty. I'm looking for Quentin. Can't help you there, Trev. I ain't seen Quentin in a long time. That's the truth? Yeah. Cross your heart and hope to die. Keeping the small your back, huh, Lorette? Maybe you should change that up a bit, huh? Hold it. It's a hell of a welcome wagon you got here, Quentin. Trev, it really is you. Man, I thought you must have died in the storm or something. I came close. <laughs> good to see you, buddy. How you been? Uh, good to see you. What the hell are you doing? This is son of a bitch who took our money. Yeah, took it and spent it. Yeah, well, it wasn't yours to spend. Hey. I spent two years rotting my ass off in a prison cell and never ratted you guys out. The way I figure it, Telly, you owe me money. Yeah, Trev's right. Forget about the damn money. Now, let's get a drink and catch up, huh? After this idiot gives me my gun back. After drink. Total budget at Tony's school is for extracurricular activities. Grand total. No, zero. That's a slow road back. Yeah, well, a lot of good that does our daughter now. And she asked me, could she play clarinet like she did last year? And I had to tell her no. In New Orleans, of all places, no music. I saw you, Ayana. I saw you at that outside spot on St. Peter's. Who is he? His name is Ken. He was Tawny's teacher up in Atlanta. Is there anything going on? No. No, Marlon, no. He was... Ken's just a friend, all right? He was supportive when I needed support. Support? Yeah, what's that code for? Companionship. We went to dinner a couple of times. Talked about how Tawny was doing in school. Did the two of you usually hug when you talk? Hmm? What else did you discuss? Come on, Marlon. Uh, you didn't see nothing in him, right? Because I'm not exactly hearing that. He... Aya! Nothing happened, Marlon, all right? Nothing physical. Yeah. So much nothing that he followed you here. And the explosive, what, what, what the hell went wrong with that again? <laughs> it was a defective blasting cap. Right, right, right. So we're all standing around this bank with this bomb. Right, this is before your time, Telly. Uh, a bomb that won't blow. And so Trev takes out his cell phone <laughs> and he says to the bank manager that the bomb is ringtone activated. <laughs> oh. Oh, ice in your veins, man. It worked out, didn't it, buddy? 
<laughs> Wanda? Trevor. Well, here we are. All of us together, the old gang, like nothing ever happened. I, um... How do I put these things in the fridge? Regular Susie homemaker. <laughs> hey, Quentin. I want back in. Back in? <laughs> you out of your mind. Why now? Been five years, nothing. You don't even check in? Now, here you are. Where you been? I was in Baton Rouge, Texas. I pulled a few jobs just to keep the cash flow coming in. It's all good. Would have been that good. Here you are. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Why not? What? You, you can't be shut serious. Up. Come shut up. Just tell him, shut up. <clears throat> We're going to be hitting this place tomorrow night. <clears throat> Antique store on Raw. This Chinese guy owns the place. Doesn't believe in banks or a night watchman. Sounds good. Hit the ground running. Where's Carl? Uh, he's running late. All right, here's what we got on our carjacking. It turns out our good Samaritan, Trent Roberts, maybe wasn't quite so squeaky clean. Rode home, was about to investigate him for embezzlement. We talked to the wife yet? She's not doing so well right now, Cal. Give her a day, and then go pay her a visit. What else? Oh, we ID'd the dead perp, Carl Dixon. He's rumored to belong to a crew here in New Orleans. Uh, they're suspected of a couple bank robberies over in Metairie a few years back. Crew like this ever cross your radar, Boulet? No. All right, Love Tap, I want you to find out everything you can about Carl Dixon and see if you can get a handle on this uh, crew he was running with. All right, that's it. Partner, it's heating up. What do you mean? They found out that Dixon was in your old crew. It's just a matter of time before they connect the dots. All right, tonight at 11 p.m., Quentin and his crew are hitting MS Rao Antiques on Royal. 11 p.m. I got it. Hey, you make sure you escape before we take them down. Because if you don't get the hell up out of there, it's all over. I got you. All right, everybody holds their position till it goes down. Don't want to scare them off. It's getting light. Yeah, have a drink. We got time. No, I don't drink on the job. Yeah, you don't seem to drink at all anymore. Are we gonna do this or not? Not. I changed my mind, Trev. What's going on? Is something wrong? Well, I'm just making sure nothing got leaked to the cops about an antique store job. You calling me an informant? Quinn? All right? Um, just making sure. I love you like a brother, but it's been a while, and brothers have been known to screw each other over. Relax. We'll laugh about it tomorrow. In time, let's see how busy things get at that antique store. Teams one and two, in position. Hello. 
man, what's wrong with you? I'm only doing my J-O-B. Looking out for cops is your J-O-B. Hmm? Let's go, I'm dead. I wanted to take a drive down there, make sure everything's okay. Tell them ain't nothing going on over here. Either you do it, or I'ma deal with you. And Juvie ain't no place you wanna be. Do it. Yeah. No hard feelings, Trev. I had to make sure. That's twice that this idiot's pointed a gun at me. The next time, I'm gonna give him a 45 caliber animal. Well, why don't you give it to him right now? <laughs> He's up. Tell it's just a joke. <laughs> You're back in, man. Good to have you. I'm gonna make a beer run. You two play nice. Ten minutes. All right. for some cigarettes you got. That's my stuff! I didn't see your name tag on it, Telly. <laughs> and next time, I'm gonna snap your neck. <laughs> Something's wrong here, little rat, and I know it. <laughs> you can get over on Quentin, but not me! Hey, what is going on? You want Clinton to deal with this? Chill out, Tilly. You couldn't let me know all this time you were alive. It seemed like a good idea. You never thought about us, the way things were supposed to have been. You're Quentin's girlfriend. I was Quentin's girlfriend then. We were going to run off together, remember? I even had the plane tickets. It wasn't my idea to get arrested. But you're out now. I'm still here. You came back? It's not why I came back. Not for us. I didn't think you could play nice. Hey, come here. face. Oh, that takes me back. You know what? I don't remember you being so nostalgic, Quentin. Maybe I'm just getting older. I don't know. I remember when I first met you, I thought to myself, that was about the angriest kid I've ever met in my life. Yeah, I was 16 years old. I was pretty angry. So what happened? Being angry and working around explosives don't really mix. Something more. You got this whole new Zen Buddhist thing going on. <laughs> I hope not. Well, I hope you haven't lost your edge, because we got something big coming up. How big? You can still get C4, right? From your old contacts? Maybe. Uh, it can't be maybe. Either you can or you can't. If you can't, you got to set this one out. I'll get my hands on some C4. Good. 
What's the job? I'll tell you when the time's near. Juan's a pretty good little nurse. My husband's dead. The bank is calling. My daughter is in pain. The phone is ringing nonstop. The insurance papers are in the safe, which I, I can't open, so I can't even give them the information that they need. And there's funeral homes and newspaper people. It's just... Look, I appreciate that. But if you could bear with us for one more moment. Mrs. Roberts, are you aware that your husband was being investigated for embezzlement of return home funds? Lies. Trent never stole a thing in his life. Did he have any enemies? No. God, what happened? How could any of this be happening? It's all right, Mom. Can't you just leave her alone? There's something big about to go down. I gotta get my hands on some C4. C4? Yeah. How do you plan on doing that? There's some at the supply depot at HQ. I'll go in and I'll get whoa, it. Whoa, 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 man, hold on. If I don't, I'm dead, partner. I'll do it. No way, man. Listen, if this thing goes south, you've got a family. Me, I got nothing. If you do it, it's guaranteed to go south. Embry, he's already wondering what's going on with you. I'll do it. What happens if you get caught? Then we're both going down in flames, partner. <laughs> hey, my man. What's great? Vice. I'm the new supply clerk. Well, I need a new Kevlar vest. Mine is in the shop getting stitched up. Where did they transfer you from? Jefferson Parish? Mm, Minnesota. Minnesota. Little advice. Go easy on the spicy foods at first. It takes a while for the tender tummy to toughen up. I eat Mexican food. I'm toughened up. I say five minutes, I can have a corn mock chew to say it ain't so. Corn mo what? Corn, onions, shrimp, diced ham, and a little something special. Sit tight. Ow! Just the land of sky blue waters. Let's see what you can handle. No, I, I already ate. I thought so. You talk the talk, but you definitely don't walk the walk, do you? Okay. You first. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was good. Go eat that like a man. Put some on that spoon, put it in your mouth. Boogie. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boogie. <laughs> some milk. Water only spreads the fire. Oh, you need a banana. Because that's going to burn twice. Ayana? Tani, I'm home. Ayana? Hey, it's me. I took Tani over to her friend Marco's house to play after school. They're having such a great time. I may let her stay the night. Come over, Daddy. Come over. Look, I'll be home later, okay? Oh, there's some leftover chicken in the fridge. Love you. I love you, too. Hey! 
What the hell is this? It's for Aya. You must be Mark. Let's skip the introductions, Romeo. You got to be crazy coming to my house, bringing my wife flowers. Listen, you, you don't have anything to worry about. Oh, you got that right. Look, I'm just saying goodbye. I'm trying to make a graceful exit. You should have checked that ring on her finger before you made that graceful entrance. That's the thing. When I met her, I saw the ring, but I didn't see her husband. I saw a woman whose life had turned upside down. Upside down? What the hell you know about upside down? You were high and dry in Atlanta while we were down here having our lives washed away. A woman trying to care for a kid, your kid, all by herself in the city, she didn't know. What kind of man does that to the woman he says he loves? You come to my house, and you talk to me about my wife and child, you get the hell off my street. Or you be flying out of here, face first. She loves the way they make a house smell. Just keep it. C4. Boo! What the hell's wrong with you? That's the beauty of C4, Tony. It's totally stable. You can drop it, you can shape it. Hell, you can even burn it. And only go up with a detonator. You're gonna make big boom. You know what, Quentin? I think it's time you let me in on the play. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got you covered. That's not good enough. If I get nailed with that, it's a federal rap. And I'm not taking the chance unless I know what the payoff is. Okay, well, all you need to know is don't make any plans tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock. What happened to Trevor? You're in. You saying you still don't trust me? Just tell him, Quentin. What? Trev's right. He stuck his ass out there for us. He deserves to. Know. Now what the hell's going on here? Everybody thinks they can start calling their own shots. Hmm? All right, you've been gone for a while, so I'm gonna cut you some slack. But the rules are the same. I decide what you know. And like I said, you only need to know two things. Big, boom. Problem? Sorry, I hate you, baby. I didn't mean to. Why don't you leave, Wanda? Get out of this place. And do what? Run off with you? You already told me that's not why you came back. Besides, he'd find me. No, you could disappear. Start over. And I could help you. Make up your mind, Trevor. You suddenly come back. You tell me it's not about us, it's just business. And now you want to be my knight in shining armor? Which is it? Things change. People change. Well, not in my world. Ah, oh, damn it. I just bought this. Still wearing this necklace, huh? Don't read too much into it. It's not like it's an engagement ring or anything. Wanda. It's never too late. Even when you think you're too far gone, you can still turn it around. I wish that I could believe that. Embry's wondering why you're pulling an invisible man on him. 
Just tell me you find out what your boy Quentin's up to. Only that it's going down today at 2 o'clock. That's in three hours, man. You ain't got nothing else? A location, a, a bank, a jewelry store, anything. I'm working on it. We'll work faster. Oh, I'm pulling the plug, Donnie Brasco. You did good, partner. Let's just call it a day. You found Robert's watch, man. That ties your guys to the murder vic. Any decent defense attorney would tear that apart, Boulay, and you know it. Hey, we got enough to bring Tully in. We can lean on him, get him to flip. It's too risky. Risky? Hell, you don't even know what you're walking into. Except for the fact that it involves a couple of pounds of military-grade explosives. I'm not letting these guys walk. They killed a guy. They beat Blue Boy into a coma. We just handed him enough C4 to blow this whole bar up. You got two hours. If I don't hear from you before then, I'm calling SWAT in and we're taking these guys down. You just make sure your ass ain't around when the cavalry comes over the hill. cigarettes in the middle of the job. What's going on? Give me a break, man. Isn't this getting old? You wired? No, no. What the hell, Quentin? Haven't we been through this? I followed you. I saw you with that cop. Is that what you mean by people change? Turning on your friends, going to the cops, you sold us it's out. It's not what you think. And what is it? Tell us, Trev. What'd you have to sneak off and talk to the NOPD about right when this thing is gonna go down? Look, Quentin, listen to me. I brought you back in, and this is how you repay me. I trusted you. What now, Quentin? You gonna kill me? Like your source was wrong, Boulay. This was a solid tip, Captain. The guys that carjacked and murdered Trent Roberts were operating out of here. I'd be more inclined to believe that if I knew where this information was coming from. I don't know. It was Cobb, CI. Yeah? Well, where's Cobb? Somebody's been here recently. The coffee pot's still warm, and I found this empty box. 45 caliber. Same caliber used to pop Roberts. Yeah, and about every other murder in the parish. And I found these. What is it? Uh, some technical specs or something. Looks like a safe. Let's see. Yes? Oh! Where's the safe? What? The safe! Where is it? Hey, take it easy. Shut up, Trev. Mom? Oh, oh my God, no, please don't hurt her. Ease up, man. She's just a kid. That's right. She is just a kid. And you want to see her grow up to be a fine young woman, all you got to do is show us where that safe is. OK. I'll show you where it is. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. We got a roll. Where? That was my man at Bayou Lock and Key. He said that's a high-end safe. Uh, the secure all that FX 35. Only one distributor in all of southern Louisiana. They sold two dozen. One to Trent Roberts. Let's roll. Come on, let's roll. Please, there's nothing in there but our personal papers, our passports, insurance policies. Yeah. That and a million dollars from your husband's little scam. He was a piece of work, Trent. Proving all those reconstruction grants and then, then telling those poor folks that really needed the money that they'd been turned down. No, oh, those were all lies. Mm, afraid not, Mrs. Roberts. See, I had a buddy that was working at the return home offices. Why not just shake Roberts down? Why all this? No, well, been there, tried that, but he didn't want any partners. Couldn't even trust his wife with this combination. 
just hurry up. Considering you're gonna kill me when I'm done, Tally, why should I be in such a big rush? Oh, because I'm gonna kill them first if you don't get your ass in gear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why'd you do it, Trev? They nail you on some other charge and cut a deal with you to flip on us? Hmm? Come on. I'm sure Wanda wants to know. No. No, no. No, 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 no. no. What? No, no, no. It's too old. It's unstable. It's gonna blow up to be not a lonely guy. inside armed one hostage robert's wife no target no fight no target no fire no target no fire no target no fire trevor's a cop what i'm telling you he's a damn cop all right let's get out of here what about the money forget about it <laughs> let's go it's a million bucks Put your fire! Put your weapon down! Drop your weapon! We're getting out of here! Anybody who's got the bottle up, she dies! Put your weapon on the ground! Come on. Wanda! Remember what we talked about? Walk to me! I said, let's go, now. No. Okay, Trevor, fine, man, you win. It's all yours. Sworn out for your boy Quentin. Uh, the feds got involved after the explosion. Uh, ATF, FBI. Uh, we're talking a serious man, honey. Now, I know this guy can expose you, man, but I gotta believe he's halfway to Mexico by now. I hope not. Because this ain't over. Hey, y'all. Look who it is. <laughs> Will, you can get a bad guy to run for the money in this, huh? That's the doctor's orders. In a couple days, I'm back on my feet. Oh, then God help us all. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. Look, man, I'm sorry about what happened. All right, it's my fault. It'll never happen again. I appreciate it. All right, all right. Unless you two are going to get a room, don't we got some police work to do? Yeah. Uh, let's go. Speaking of police work. You guys gave us a busy day yesterday. Yeah, we caught a few breaks. <laughs> a few breaks. Yeah, well, I got uh, two terrorized citizens, two dead bodies, and one heavily armed fugitive. 
I run this unit based on trust. I give you guys a lot of leeway to use your best judgment. I don't want to learn what you guys are up to by counting up dead bodies. If I find you running an operation and keeping me in the dark again, we're going to have big, big problems. Clear? Yes, sir. You got it. Marlon? Hey, baby. You hungry? Sure. Where's Tony? Play dating. I figured we needed some time alone since we had some things to discuss. Must be pretty serious. With the gardenias. My favorite. Yeah, they do smell nice. No wonder you used to buy them all the time. I never paid attention before. I should have. Look, Marlon. No, baby. Let me finish. New Orleans ain't the only thing in my life that matters. Tony, she needs music in her life. And, and sports and dance lessons and books. And if she has to get that somewhere else, so be it. I think Tony and I should leave. No. I'm saying that if leaving is what it takes for me to do right by you and my little girl, then I'm willing to discuss it. Well, school just started. I don't want to pull her out now. That'd be disruptive. And she's got her friends here. Why don't we give it a little more time? I'd sure love. 